Well, today is a big day for Tesla. We got two huge pieces of good news for Tesla here today, okay? The first is Model 3 is gonna be profitable. We're gonna look at it in just a minute. We're gonna look at how profitable we are talking with Model 3, all right? The second part is we're gonna look at cost of ownership of owning a Tesla. How much does it cost you for maintenance and things like that? How much does actually owning a Tesla save you money over the course of time? So we're gonna look at both those subjects here today. A lot to talk about in this one in regards to Tesla. But first we need to understand, Tesla the company, okay? There's two, there are two routes they could go right now as a company, all right? The first one is, and by the way, real quick here, it's not just Tesla shareholders that are rooting for Tesla. This is one of the only companies I've ever seen where the customers are actually rooting for them to be profitable. I've never seen this, I don't think in any of my time, where literally customers are like, I want them to be profitable, I want them to make it through. It's a pretty rare thing. But basically, Tesla's in a situation that if they keep blowing money the way they've been blowing money, which they've been spending on so much different, so many different things, so much R&D and whatnot, they would run out of money within six to 12 months, okay? If they cannot get profitable, they're gonna end up running out of money within six to 12 months, which means um, either the company could go under or they'll have to raise more money, okay? The more money they raise and the more debt they take out, then guess what? There's more interest payments the company has to make in the future. The more interest payments and all that type of stuff they have to make in the future, the more debt they have to pay off, that's less money they can actually funnel into the business for R&D. However, if they start becoming profitable, they can spend more and more, uh, you know, money on R&D, which is huge, right? Research and development to continue to build the company, which people are huge fans of this company for two reasons. One is they're, gonna, they're pushing EVs, electric vehicles, in a mass way. That's what most people think about when they think about Tesla. But they're also trying to change the world in, in, in terms of energy products, okay? In terms of what they're gonna try to do with solar roofs, storage products, battery products. They're gonna can try to completely change the world in, the, in regards to energy, okay? They're trying to do that in a massive way. So they're trying to do two huge things here, but if they don't make any profits, they're not gonna be able to pull off either, okay? So let's look at this here, guys. Monroe's final take on the car is starkly different from his initial impression. While fit and finish were poor in the Model 3, Monroe's firm purchased, which is a firm that looked into the car and whatnot and had a big opinion on this, he was impressed with the driving characteristics and technology hardware in the car. Still, the fact that it came in as profitable came as a surprise to him. I have to eat crow. I didn't think it was going to happen this way, but the Model 3 is profitable, he says in an interview. How profitable? Monroe estimates that the Model 3 will be somewhere around a 30% margin, guys. 30%. He says no electric car is getting 30%. Nobody. But Tesla is, is possibly getting a 30% margin on Model 3. Those margins presumably get dramatically higher with Tesla's top of market performance trim model, which sells for $15,000 more than the trim level used for the teardown despite having minimally different physical components there, guys. Uh, Tesla is achieving those margins through deep levels of system integration by relying on in-house technology to do more work. Tesla is able to keep the cost of third-party components low. For example, Monroe estimates the cost of Tesla's rearview mirror to be around 30 bucks. Meanwhile, the firm estimates the rearview mirror of the Chevy Bolt costs somewhere around 164. The difference comes in the fact that the Bolt puts electronics uh, and a backup camera onto the display of a mirror while Tesla uses its custom designed onboard computer and large central display to perform the same functions. There's a similar story throughout the car. So basically Tesla is just thinking of smarter ways of doing things than what these other companies are doing, which is gonna end up pushing up profitability in a major way. And they're talking about when, when the company really starts to scale and we talk about they can build 10,000 plus Model 3s a week. That is when the profits really start getting it big because then you start getting some labor advantages. Um, I've seen estimates that the Model 3 could cost around $28,000 roughly to build, but over time that's gonna go down more and more because the batteries get cheaper, and as you, your scale builds, labor costs end up going down over time, guys. So, um, and also as you get bigger and bigger, you get to have even more pricing power with some of the third-party suppliers. So you get a lot of advantages the bigger and bigger you get. Uh, so the bigger and bigger Tesla gets, the more advantages they have in terms of pushing profitability. But the fact that the, you know, this guy was very negative on Model 3, it wouldn't be profitable, blah, blah, blah. And now he's talking about this, this car is gonna be very profitable, so, somewhere around a 30% clip. That's a massive, massive difference there, guys. So let's get into the next piece of good news. This is an article here that came out of Electric here within the past few hours. This is very interesting stuff. So less than a year ago, we reported on one of 
Tesla Loop's Tesla Model S hitting 300,000 miles in just two years. The company claimed the vehicle alone saved them an estimated $60,000 on fuel and maintenance compared to a similar vehicle for their shuttle service, which mainly serves Los Angeles to uh, Las Vegas here, okay? So now Tesla Loop's very first Model S, a 90D, which they dubbed E-Hawk, has surpassed 400,000 miles, okay? 400,000 miles now on this car. Enough to make it the Tesla with the highest mileage possibly in the world, or at least that is reported out there, okay? So the company detailed its maintenance costs for eHawk in a blog post today. Tesla Loop has incurred a combined maintenance cost of roughly $19,000 or about five cents per mile. The cost breaks down to $6,700 for general vehicle repairs and $12,200 for regularly scheduled maintenance. The Model S full service record is available here. If you wanna actually go and look at that article and, and click on it and view it and whatnot, go to Electric's website there. Um, the record includes comparable estimates, costs running a service with a Lincoln Town Car instead of a Model S or a Mercedes GLS class instead of a Model X. Tesla Loop estimates that the Lincoln Town Car or Mercedes GLS class combined maintenance costs would be around 22 cents a mile or 25 cents a mile, respectively over 400,000 miles there, guys. Um, we're talking about a massive, massive difference in maintenance costs and obviously, um, you know, uh, electric is a lot, to fill up your, your Tesla with electric is much cheaper than filling up an average car with gasoline at the end of the day. So what a Tesla ends up saving you over time is a massive, massive amount of money. Um, despite sometimes the cost can seem like these cars are expensive, but then when you look at Model 3, and we're talking about, you know, eventually over time, you know, you can get Model 3s for $35,000, $40,000. That's going to be pretty affordable rather than, you know, Model S's, which were, you know, sixty, seventy thousand, dollars 70000 and Model X, which is like 100000 plus. Now they're starting to get to affordability. And then on top of that, you have much less maintenance costs. Like that's a big, big thing in the end, guys. So two huge pieces of good news for Tesla out there. Two big pieces of great news for the shareholders. And if you're a customer of Tesla, you're someone that wants to see Tesla succeed over time. These are two very big uh, pushes, especially the profitability for Model 3. That is big, guys. That's big. Um, Elon Musk has come out many times and he said the company's going to be profitable in Q3 and Q4. Many people are like, I don't know about that. Uh, maybe, maybe it's right. Maybe it is going to be profitable. We will, we shall see as time goes on. Anyways, I want to know your guys' opinion down there in that comment section. I would love to hear it from you. As always, make sure you subscribe if you have not already. This is Regular Guy Tech. I am Jeremy. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.